Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2018 Toyota Highlander. We're going to be doing a transmission flush on this. We're going to go through the procedure, show you how to do it. Um, we have a, uh, a guide here to help you to figure out how much fluid it holds. And uh, this here is uh, fluidcapacity.com is my website that will take you to the fluid capacities for the vehicle, the recommendations that AMSOIL has for each cavity. And it also gives you the, uh, like the transmission. Uh, the initial fill on this one is uh, rated uh, 3.2 quarts, the total fill is 8 quarts. So it kind of gives you some idea how much fluid you're going to need to do the transmission flush. Uh, and you can print this off for each of your vehicles so you have that handy. Uh, the fluid we'll be using today is going to be the AMSOIL uh, low viscosity ATF. It meets and exceeds all the specifications for the uh, Toyota WS. And, uh, um, this here fluid will run usually 20 to 50 degrees cooler than petroleum based oils and extends the life of the transmission significantly. And uh, this here has some information about a taxi test that was done on the transmission fluids out to 180,000 miles. And that's uh, very revealing as to how the, the fluid performs. Um, the transmission flushes that I do, I've got some examples here of some oils that I've uh, saved from transmissions that I've flushed in the past. And uh, these oils actually kind of look like waste oil. They don't look much like transmission fluid. But uh, these are transmissions I've done. And I've saved samples of these over the last 15 to 20 years. And you can see the crap that's in them. Um, if ever I was going to have a problem with the transmission flushes, these would have been the ones. Because again, you can see all the crap that's in that oil. And if you do a flush with a flush machine, you never get the transmission uh, filter changed and you will recirculate this stuff and get it into your valve body and if this fine dirt gets into that valve body it hangs it up and if that valve uh, doesn't direct the fluid to the transmission clutch pack to compress it decent enough it will make the transmission slip and it'll take the transmission out so the first thing I do is I try to uh, get all of this uh, old fluid out as much as I can uh, with dropping the pan on this vehicle there is no pan so on this one here, you're limited. Uh, the only way to change the internal filter on this transmission is to split the case, and that's kind of out of the question. So on these type of vehicles, you may want to do your transmission flush a little bit more often. Uh, do it with the fluid hot, and uh, it'll help significantly extend the, the life of the transmission, especially with the AMSOIL fluid. But these are some examples of some I've done over the years. Like I say, that fluid, you look at it, and you know here's the new fluid, and you compare the two, and one looks like waste oil. So. Uh, this works very well. I've done these on Volkswagens, Toyotas, GMs, Fords, Chryslers over the years. Had excellent results. Another thing that we have to do with this transmission, when you go to check the fluid, that fluid has to be up to right around 100 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason for that is when the fluid is cold, uh, it, it shrinks in volume. Okay, now once you're up to that 105 degree temperature, you're up to, you've expanded that fluid. Okay that's where you want to be checking it at is, is somewhere at the midway range of the temperature it's going to be running at. Now uh, if you don't do that, let's say you overfill the transmission, what will happen is that fluid as it expands the gears inside that transmission are going to churn it and that churning causes it to foam and a uh, uh, transmission is actually a hydraulic unit. It's taking that fluid, pressurizing it to apply the clutches which then drives and applies the gears for the different uh, gear ranges. Now, if you get uh, air bubbles entrained into that fluid, the air bubbles can compress, the fluid cannot. And uh, if you run it over full, you'll get those foam bubbles into that oil. And if you can compress the air when you're trying to apply those clutches, you won't have application pressure and you'll burn up your transmission. So we're going to get this up to temperature right around 100 to 105 degrees. The way we're going to do that, you can do it with a scan tool. Uh, most of you probably won't have a scan tool. Scan tools are quite expensive, and uh, you can do it that way, uh, get it up to temperature, look at your scan tool, or you can get yourself a, a temp gun. Some of these temp guns, anywhere from 50 bucks on down, they're not that much money right now. And you can shoot the bottom of that transmission, get the temperature where you want it. I've got a little fancier device, it's a thermal imaging camera, um, that's what I'm going to use, and uh, we'll get that up to temp and show you how that works, but you don't need the... the uh, the scan tool will be able to get it up to temp. If you've got a, a monitor, you know, with a, a temp gun, you can get it right where you need it. So we're going to go ahead and start this procedure and uh, be back with you. Okay, we got the vehicle warmed up. 
And where that target is in the center, this reading right here is up here in the upper left of that screen. So we're running about 100 to 105 degrees, which is just about the right temp there to check it here. And uh, the way you check it, there's a plug right here. I've got it loosened up already. And there's a tube, a stand tube goes up inside the transmission. And uh, the fluid level should be at 105, 100, 105 degrees, should just be dribbling out. So we're gonna take that uh, plug out and see what dribbles out at us. Okay, there it is starting to dribble, okay? That just verifies that we're where we need to be for the fluid. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drain that fluid out. First thing we do is take that plug out and then up inside there's a uh, Allen head that uh, for that tube to remove that tube so you can drain it out. We're gonna let it drain as far as we can this way and then uh, we'll go up inside and unscrew that plastic tube and I'll show you that and that'll drain out the remainder of the fluid that's uh, right here in the, in the transmission mount. This fluid only has about 18,000 miles on. Uh, the customer wants to switch out the Amsoil to get the extended life benefits of it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, we're going to get the fluid uh, drained, refilled, and then I'm going to show you the flush procedure. Okay, the initial plug here is a 10 millimeter Allen head, and this little plastic tube inside is a 6 millimeter. And that just screws in there finger tight. So as we take that out, unscrew it, the rest of that fluid will come flooding out. Okay, that's the standpipe in there. So with the engine running, the fluid uh, level should just be dribbling out of here at about 105 degrees. Okay, the fill plug is behind this little plastic uh, removable piece here. There's two 10 millimeter head bolts that you take out. And you don't have to take the piece off completely. They have a, another hidden fastener down below. But you can rotate it enough out of the way. And you can see right in here, this is the fill plug right here where the end of my finger is. Okay, and that's a 24 millimeter, or you can use a 15 16 standard. Okay, so we're going to come in from below and take that out. Now if you don't have a pumper, you're going to have to rig up a hose to go in here to fill it and use a funnel out the side. I have a pumper, so I'll come in here with the pumper and just pump it right in. But uh, you may have to get creative with a hose and a, and a funnel to come up by the wheel to fill it up. So, But that's where the fill point is for it. Alright, we're going to put this tube back in. And when you put it back in, you just screw it in there finger tight. You don't use a wrench or a ratchet or anything on it. Just take it up snug with the finger and leave it at that. So about right there is good. Okay, and then we're going to put our uh, drain plug back in. And we're going to get it snug so we don't lose any fluid, but we're not going to tighten it tight because we still have to do our final check on that uh, transmission fluid once we get everything all up to temp. That's a 10 millimeter. There it is. So I'm just going to snug it up just enough so it don't leak. And then we're going to go ahead and fill up the transmission. Okay, for those of you that don't have a pumper, if you get some 5 8 OD poly line, that'll fit right in there nice and snug on that, where that plug came out, that fill plug. And then you can take a, a funnel and uh, put a piece of hose on it and be able to fill it that way. Just ch cut, cut yourself a short piece here and, and be able to fill it just, just like this. So that'll kind of help you if you don't have a pumper. So. Just wanted to show you that. Okay, we're getting ready to do this flush, and right here at the front, uh, underneath the radiator and the grill, there is this plastic cover. You take all the bolts out, and there's a couple of plastic Christmas trees you take out, and that will remove that whole cover. And then over here, right in front of the uh, the driver's side front wheel, is the transmission cooler and the lines. Okay, so what we're going to want to do. Um, they have a thermostat right up here. Let's see if I can show it to you right here. We don't have to mess with that because that's on the return going back to the, uh, the transmission. So we're going to intercept the oil before it gets back. What's well, doing is flowing from the transmission um, right up here through this line up to the cooler. 
and it's going through the cooler and coming out on this this line here that I put on it. <clears throat> what I've done is taken this line off right here, off of that hose barb, on that one closest to the engine, and then I put this hose on right here and bring it out to a drain pan. Okay, and when we start it up, the fluid will flow from the transmission out through the cooler and out of this line here and we can catch it at the drain pan and uh, we're going to flush it um, I put in initially here to fill it I got out about a little over three quarts 3.2 quarts I put in about five quarts and yes it's over full is it a problem no because we're not driving it down the road we're doing a flush so that fluid's going to get pushed out of the transmission anyway now if you have a particular dirty tranny fluid now this fluid is not real dirty I'm going to go till it just starts sputtering here and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to fill the transmission up and recheck it and we'll be done with the flush. But uh, if you have a dirty transmission, maybe the oil is black, you're going to want to go till you get a nice color change out of the uh, this drain hose here. So we're going to try and flush through, we'll probably flush through, uh, this thing holds a total of 8 quarts and by the time we're done, somewhere between uh, 8 and 10 quarts is what we're going to be probably putting back into the transmission. So that'll be a good flush for this. But uh, that kind of gives you some idea how to hook up the lines to do the flush, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with that. Okay, we're starting our flush. Basically what we're doing here is using that new fluid to flush out the torque converter and also the transmission cooler. And we'll get a good majority of that old fluid out. Okay, shut it off. Okay, right there it was starting to purge a little bit or spurt out a little. So that's where we're going to stop it at. And we're going to refill that transmission and we'll check the level, put these hoses back on. And, uh, and we'll recheck the level and see where we're at. Okay, we've got our uh, hose off from where we did the flush. We're going to put this line back on. It's just a simple hose barb with a clamp. Use the needle nose on the clamp and work it back up. There it is. Okay, when you're done, just wipe off any oil. Might be some on the plastic. Maybe take some brake clean solvent, wipe that off. The end of the hoses. And that's it for the uh, cooler lines. Now we're going to fill the tranny back up and we'll recheck the fluid level. Okay, after the flush, I left this plug out right here. And I added about two and a half, three quarts of fluid and it just started dribbling out of here. Okay, so when you see it start running out, like that. And go ahead and put your plug in okay that gives you enough to start it and I'm gonna put in about probably another half a quarter or so and then we're gonna start it get it up to temp up to 105 and then we're gonna take this plug out again and check the level okay we got this started up we're gonna verify we got enough fluid to let it warm up the temp we got the fluid circulating, moving around the transmission, so that's going to drop the level a little bit. I'm going to add fluid now until it comes out again. Okay, there it's starting to come out. I'm going to go until I get a nice little flow out of it. Right there, and now I'm going to put the plug in. We're going to let it warm up until we see 100, 105 degrees on the surface of that transmission. And then we'll recheck it again. We'll take that plug out. 
Okay, we're running right there at about 100 to, let's calibrate and give me a second. Okay, there we go, 90, 100 to 105, 108 right in that range, okay? So we're good to check that now. So we're gonna take this plug out. Okay, right there is about where we wanna be. Okay. That's about it right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this for a drive and get that thermostat, get it up to temperature so that thermostat opens and we'll bring it back in and we'll recheck the level once more at about 105 degrees. And that'll verify if everything's where it should be. That'll be our final check and then we'll be done with this. Then we can torque down the, uh, the plug here and the plug on the, on the side for the fill and put this cover back on the front and that'll be it for this transmission flush. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Donswell. I'd like to introduce you to Amswell Synthetic Lubricants. We have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear, extended drain intervals, longer equipment life. You can check that out at my website donswell.com. I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil, cooling system, transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.